everyone welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've uh okay fam you're, that's not gonna work that's not going to work mm -hmm. uh, welcome back if you have been here before um if you're coming back if you're returning back to the sad little channel i appreciate you for today's video um i am going to be showing you guys some of my favorites from last month slash this month because you know me, I am never on time with this kind of stuff. I'm just going to jump right in and get into some of the things that I've been liking this month. Um, I don't have very many because, guys, to be honest with you, I'm a poor person. And when you're poor, you don't get to spend a lot of money, you know, because you don't have it to spend. But from the things that I do buy and try out, these are some of the ones that I've just been a fan of. Okie doke. So the first thing that I'm going to share with you guys are primers, and I do have three because I've been kind of jumping into the primer world a little harder and been trying a few new ones. Um, so that's just what I'm going to start off with. So first, I bought this a while back, and I haven't done a favorites video in a while, so I never really got to mention it, but it is the e.l.f. Primer Mist. It's the Aqua Primer Mist. Aqua Primer Mist, and I really, really like this. Um, it makes your face kind of feel, it smooths out really nicely, and it gets kind of tacky too, so your makeup sticks to it really nicely. Um, the packaging is pretty cute and sleek. It's a nice mist. Now, the problem that I have with it, the product itself I really like, but the mister, the sprayer on this doodad is horrific. Literally, it sprays out in a, sh a line, like a straight stream right into your face. Like, it just stabs you. It's horrible. Like, I don't know if I can give you, like, a demonstration. Like, it just, it shoots you. And it's not gentle. And that's the only thing I don't like is the sprayer. It's not good. Like, I have to hold it, like, super far from me and aim. Or else it'll get right in my eye or up my nose. But other than that... I really do like this. Um, the next primer that I want to talk about is the Maybelline Master Prime, um, the Blur and Smooth one. This I used to, I think I may have talked about the um, the Redness Control one a while back on my channel, but I really like the Blur and Smooth one because I do find that it does what it says it's supposed to do. It blurs and it smooths, and for a drugstore, wow. Wow. For a drugstore primer, it's really, really good. So if you're looking for a cheaper primer, I would 100% recommend this if you're looking for a cheaper primer that works. And the last primer is not a cheap one, not a drugstore one, but it's one that literally, you guys, I have never seen a primer that works, like, that does exactly what it says it's supposed to do to a T. Like, this primer does not lie when it says that it is going to blur your skin. And that is the Milk Makeup Primer, Milk Makeup Blur Stick. This primer, you guys, I don't even understand it. Like, this is a pretty pricey primer for this little tiny thing. Like, it's one ounce. For this little tiny thing is like $32. That's super expensive in my opinion for a primer. But I heard so many great things about it and I just really wanted to try it out. And you guys, <coughs> it does not lie when it says it blurs your skin. Like, I am a tough judge. Like, when I try something, I expect it to do what it says it's going to do. If it doesn't, I'm not going to buy it again. And I'm not going to tell you that it works wonders when it doesn't. This legitimately does exactly what it says it's supposed to do. When it says it's a blur stick, it's a blur stick. You wipe, like, when you rub this on a place with any pores at all, they're gone. Like, they literally disappear. It's like freaking magic. It smooths out your skin so perfectly. Your pores are gone. Any type of, like, texture on your face, when you put this over that, it goes away. This thing works wonders. You're just going to have to try it out for yourself. Believe me when I tell you it does blur out everything. So if you 
are willing to spend $32 on a primer, I would highly, 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 highly recommend this one if you're looking for something that's going to blur and smooth out your face. So next I'm going to go into foundations and recently I've been trying to do a few different combina- like I've been trying like a few different combinations and trying to mix them together and trying to try them separate, blah, 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 blah. I've been experimenting. So the first one I want to talk to you guys about is the L'Oreal um, Lumi Cushion, and I'm sure you guys have heard about this a trillion times in the YouTube community because, I mean, Cushion Foundation is pretty cool. This has become a favorite not for um, when I'm trying to get a full coverage look. I will be honest with you guys, if you have any acne on your face or any weird textures on your skin, this is not going to cover that up. Cover what? cover that up. This is more for like an everyday kind of sheer to medium coverage. This definitely is not a full coverage foundation and I don't think it's capable of being a full coverage foundation without, especially if you have textured skin or skin with acne, um, without making it look cakey so, or without it separating. So I really do not recommend this if you're looking for a full coverage foundation, but if you are looking something for everyday wear and you have semi-decent skin that doesn't show a lot of texture, um, this is a really, really great buy. Uh, honestly, the price point isn't that great for um, 51, 0.51 ounces. It's like 15 bucks. And as a drugstore product, that's pretty expensive for the amount of product that you get. I was not wanting to spend that much on a drugstore foundation. Like, I'm being honest, if I'm going to the drugstore, I expect, I expect to spend $10 at the most, um, hopefully under that, but the fact that this was $15 was a little bit like, okay, like you're a drugstore product, you only have .51 ounces, what's so special about you? So I wanted to buy it and try it out, and to be honest with you guys, I do like it for everyday natural wear, but as far as full coverage, full glam, um, anything like that, I wouldn't recommend this, but like I said, everyday wear, if you just want sheer coverage, this is really, really, really great. The formula is fantastic and it goes on your skin very smoothly. If you are looking for full coverage, you guys, I have found a combination, especially for my skin, at least for my skin, that works so, 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 so good. And I didn't think that it would, but it does. So I bought both of these foundations not not with the intentions of com combining them. So we all know that I love my um, Pro Glow foundation from L'Oreal. I love this foundation, I always have, but I find that the shades that they have in this foundation don't match my skin perfectly. This one, 202, is a little too dark and it kind of makes my face look a little dirty, if that makes sense. And then the the lightest shade is way too light. So I always just went with the darker shade just because it matches my undertone better than the lighter shade, but it's still too dark. So then I bought the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation and I, I was using this one at first by itself and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I liked it at first and then I kinda didn't like it that much anymore because I have dried a combination skin um, I have certain parts of my skin that gets oily and then I also have a lot of parts of my skin that get really dry, especially under my eyes. This foundation was a little bit drying on my skin and I didn't really like that about it and it was a little too light. I decided one day just to try and combine the two together and see how I liked that and I absolutely love this combination. It's what I'm wearing on my skin right now. Now, I just got off of work, um, it's like 10 o'clock at night. So I look like a disgusting creature, and you can see all my acne, whatever, but I've been wearing this all day. But this combination is so good because with this being a little bit more drying, but still a little, but still somewhat hydrating, and this being completely hydrating, all glow, they kind of balance each other out because this one might be too glowy some days, and then this one's a little drying, so when you put them together, it kind of balances each other out. And this is also a lighter shade than this one, so when I mix the two together, it creates my perfect freaking shade. Go freaking figure. So, I really, 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 really like this combination. Now, I'm not promising that it's going to work on everybody, because everyone's skin's different. I've heard so many great things about so many foundations, and then I try it, and I freaking hate it. So, the next two things are powders. 
And first I'm going to start off with the Photo Focus Wet n Wild Powder. This powder is so freaking good. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It smooths out your skin so nicely and it just highlights points that you need to be highlight highlighted without drying your skin out or making it look cakey. It just does such a good job at setting your face and just making your face look smoother and brighter. And the next powder is the RCMA Loose Powder, the No Color Powder. Um, I talked about this in my last video, my everyday makeup routine. I find that at first it was really disappointing me, but now that I've been using it more and learning how to use it better, I'm starting to like it a whole lot more. So I really, really like this powder. Um, but as far as setting your face goes, it does the job really well, and I really, really, really like it. The only thing I hate about it, which I already said in my last video, is this packaging. I don't know what their vision was with the salt and pepper packaging. Like, what were they imagining when they did this? Like, I kind of, I see what they were kind of trying to do. Like, with the whole, like, trying to make it cleaner or whatever the idea is. But it's difficult because there's nothing to pour the powder into you what am I supposed to pour it on my lap into my hand like it's not convenient like if you're traveling I don't want to pour my powder on the hotel table like that's just or in my hand like that's I don't know I just I don't see the vision and it's really messy even though I don't know if they were trying to accomplish a cleaner packaging it's not it gets everywhere um, so the packaging is a total failure to me. I don't really understand why they did it this way, but I mean... The next thing is a bronzer. <coughs> and I also talked about the... Oh my gosh, I'm dying. I'm disgusting. Like, I'm actually a gross creature. But I talked about this powder in my last video. Maybe my video before that. I don't really freaking know. But um, this is my Tarte Amazonian Matte, Amazonian Clay Matte Waterproof Bronzer in the shade Park of Princess. This is what it looks like. Um, it's not too warm and it's not too dark and it's not too gray and it's not too blah 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 blah. It's really, really good for a bronzer with my skin tone. Um, I really like the formula. The only thing is, is you want to have a light hand and gradually build it up rather than going in straight away like with a hard hand and just putting all of putting it all on at once, like a really large amount. You want to just kind of go lightly and build it up because if you don't, it gets patchy and it gets muddy and it gets ugly. So if you want it to turn out really nice, which it does have the capability of doing just have a light hand and this is a really really great bronzer I think all right and the last makeup product I think yes is a lip gloss now you guys know the cheapster that I am I am not one to spend a lot of money on anything because like I said I like a good deal I like a bargain I like to find things for good prices that I'm not going to dread repurchasing so you guys know, I try to find good, inexpensive products. Now I'm not saying I don't buy expensive products, because clearly I do. I just showed you probably three products altogether in this makeup favorite thing that are not cheap and they're not drugstore. But for the majority of my the majority of my makeup back here is drugstore and super 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 cheap anywho so this lip gloss now we know I'm not a fan of lip products if I'm being honest the only lip product that I wear really is chapstick like I have a sick obsession with chapstick I have gone through so many tubes of Burt's Bees chapstick I can't even count okay I go through chapsticks like I go through a bag of M&Ms and we'll get into that but anyway so I normally only wear chapstick because I don't like colors on my lips. I don't think it fits me. I don't think it looks good on me. Other people may have different opinions, blah, 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 blah. Personally, I don't like the way I look with lipsticks on. I just, I don't. I like the color of my lips. For me to say that I like a lip gloss is saying a lot because I don't wear lip stuff. So, this is a cheap, inexpensive, beautiful lip gloss that I wore in my last video, and it is the BH Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade Buttercream. 
This is such a beautiful little gloss. Let's see if I can just do a little swatcheroo for you guys. I don't know if you can see that or if this is blurry or if it's like totally not even there, but like whatever. This lip gloss has a tiny, 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 so sheer color to it. It's just, it's so sheer. But what I love about it is that it's sparkly and not even really sparkly. It's just so glossy and like luminescent looking. It just makes your lips look so plump and beautiful. Let me just throw it on really fast so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, and if you watched my last video, I wore it in that one. I love this because it doesn't really add any diff like a different color to my lips. It just kind of enhances the color that's already there, which I love. And I do really think this would be a beautiful lipstick topper for like a matte lip if you were wanting to gloss it up. Now there is a little bit of glitter in it, but I actually really like it. It just adds such like a pretty effect, you know, to your lips and makes you just look so fabulous. Like you just want to sing that song. My lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. You know what I mean? This lip gloss, in my personal opinion, which is very up there, is fantastic, especially for the price point. Like, and I just highly recommend it. The formula is great. It's not sticky. It's not. It's not annoying on my lips. It kind of just melts in and just. Oh, I love it. Okay, so the next two things are the most random things on this freaking planet. What? They're the most random things on this planet, but you guys, when I have a favorite, I just, I have to share it, you know? So the first one, you guys are probably going to be like, what the actual fudge, Ariel? And I promise you, I have gotten so many questions on this in my everyday life because I put these in my purse and everyone's like, Ariel, what even are you and why? Like, why are you this way? And guys, answer, I'm just smart and I just do what I need to do. That's all there is to it. I don't know why people are so concerned with what I'm doing. Anyway, so this product <laughs> is Bounce Dryer Sheets. This is a small little box that I keep in my bag. Now, you guys are probably wondering, Ariel, what the fudge? What are you doing laundry on the go? Do you need, like, what, for what reason? And I will tell you guys that reason. For one, it makes my purse smell so freaking good. Let's just be real. Every time I walk past someone, they smell my dryer sheets and they're like, dang, she's clean. That's not why I have them. I have them because if you didn't know this life hack for us gals or guy with long hair, if you have hair, like if you have hair, <laughs> if you're not bald, sometimes your hair just gets freaking staticky, you guys. My hair is probably the most staticky hair I've ever seen. Like, all I have to do is touch it and it's static and it's like sticking to my face and it's sticking to my whole body and it's just the most annoying thing ever. I cannot touch my hair without it being and then like floating around and sticking to things. It's annoying and I hate it. And at first, like, I was just, I would like wet it, but that's disgusting and like it ended up making my hair greasy. So I'm like, I need to find a way to de-static my hair. I don't even think that's a word, but I don't care. I needed to find a way to get the static to go down without having to put my hair up because I don't like putting my hair up all the time, you know? I figured, you know what? <coughs> what do dryer sheets do for your laundry? You put them in your dryer for what reason? To eliminate the static in your clothing, am I right? If this has the purpose of eliminating static from clothing, what's gonna stop it from eliminating static from my head? So I take one, example, I take one and I rub it in my hair. And now my hair is static free and I am stress free. It's very annoying, it's a very aggravating thing. So if you're looking for a way to get rid of the static in your hair, you guys, Go buy one of these from the dollar store, stick it in your bag, pull it out when you need it, rub it on your head, and don't give a fudge sickle what anybody else thinks. Because at the end of the day, who gives a crap? So the last and final thing is very random, but very necessary. Because when you're a fat so like me, you like to eat, you guys. Um, my favorite snack at the moment, and has been for a while, is 
pretzel M&M's. And as you guys can see, I have the sharing size, not for sharing. <laughs> so I absolutely love pretzel M&M's. They're just so freaking good. So if you like something salty and you like something sweet, buy a pack of these and well, mm, so good, girl. All right, guys. So that is it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. You better have enjoyed it because I just spent almost an hour of my night filming it so hmm, appreciate um yeah so i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i hope that you guys subscribe because i mean i'm cool i mean if you don't then you don't you can like this video if you like it or you can dislike it if you didn't whatever you want um you can also comment down below whatever the freak you want if you feel like it it's up to you that's the beauty of life you always have a choice you do or you don't. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. I like doing this move because it seems dramatic and it seems important. Right? Anyway, that's that. I'm going to go. Catch you guys later. Peace it out. Subscribe.